In this video, we'll start by looking at a simple case where we want to establish the probability of obtaining a 4 when a dice is rolled once. So what we need to do is consider all the possible outcomes. And each of these outcomes, ranging from 1 to 6 that we can see on the screen, they're all equally likely. Getting a 4 is just one of those possible 6 outcomes, so the probability of achieving a 4 is 1 out of 6. In this next example, we're rolling 2 dice and we want to work out the chance of getting a total of 8. Now with any probability question, what we need to do is work out all of the favourable outcomes, in other words how often 8 occurs, and determine what that is as a fraction over all of the possible outcomes that occur when 2 dice are rolled. So let's have a look at what occurs when we do roll 2 dice. We can see all the possible outcomes here for 1 dice. So if we roll 2 dice, the highest possible score we can get is 6 plus 6, or 12. The lowest score we can achieve is 1 plus 1, or 2. This means our possible outcomes range from 2 to 12. But it's not clear how frequently they occur. Are they equally likely? Well, let's first of all consider 12. The only way we can get 12 is by getting 6 on both dice, so it's 6 plus 6. If we consider another result, say for example 10, there's various ways we could get that. What we could do is get 6, let's say, on the first dice and 4 on the second. Or we could get 5 on both dice, so that they sum to 10. Or we could switch the first result so we get 4 on the first dice and 6 on the second. In other words, 4 plus 6. So there are three possible ways we can get 10, whereas with 12 there's only one possible way. So 10 is more likely. So we need to come up with some way, perhaps a table, so we can see not just all the possible outcomes, but how frequently they occur. And one good way to do that is to set up a table, like we've done here, where we've got all the possible results for the first dice at the top, and on the left-hand side we've got all of the possible results for the second dice. And what we'll do is we'll sum those totals, so we can see all of the possible outcomes. So you can see here in this next picture we've actually started doing the summing process. So we can see in pink the number 2 comes from adding 1 from both dice. And the number 3 we can get in blue by getting 2 on the first dice and 1 on the second. Or alternatively, as we can see in green, we get 3 by getting 1 on the first dice and 2 on the second. So that's the start of the table for possible outcomes. Let's have a look at that table when we've finished adding all those numbers from both dice. So in this table what we've done is use different colours depending on the value of the first dice. So if we look down the number 1 for the first dice we can see values in pink. And the pink 2 represents getting 1 and 1 on both dice. The number 3 represents getting 1 on the first dice and 2 on the second, etc. And with the whole table what you can see is the most likely result that's going to occur is 7. In fact that occurs 6 times by getting 6 plus 1, 5 plus 2, etc whereas the least likely values are 2 and 12. Now that our table is complete and we can see all of the possible outcomes, in fact there are 36 of them, we can now work out the chance of getting a total of 8. Now we can see in the table here that there are 5 outcomes which result in 8, they're shown in pink. So that's 5 out of a total of 36 outcomes. So the chance or probability of scoring an 8 is 5 over 36.